Hey, take him out. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, doing another update with regards to these two missing girls. There was another boy that was added. Uh, an Amber alert went out. Thank you for Cindy and Kelly that messaged me on Facebook. I also got the alert on my cell phone just a couple of minutes ago. And on the my cell phone, the alert it said kidnapping. Now, uh, I, if you haven't seen the story, you don't know what's going on, I'd refer you to my previous video. I gave a little bit of information with the address, a little bit of a look at, on the map of the areas that um, they were last seen or missing, reported. Now, Jasmine Brown, it says here missing 125-2021. So this was since Monday, and I was asking in the last video, I thought it was a little weird that we're just really hearing about this today. It's been almost five days. The other girl, there's no missing information here, okay? And there's somebody else added on there too now, Keon Kaiser. So they're both marked as companion child. I don't know exactly what that means. Does that mean they're friends? Did they take him against her will? Or did they all go along and they're all just in danger and people are worried and concerned? This story really isn't getting much attention. Maybe now with this Amber Alert, uh, it'll get the attention that it needs and hopefully these kids can be found safe. Jasmine's 12, Markevia is 13, and Keon is 16. And it states here that the children were last seen in Homestead, Florida area. So I'm wondering if it's that uh, reserve uh, park that we were talking about in the previous video. And so Kelly just sent me this video too. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, this is a guy that's the, one of the Florida representatives, state representatives, District 117. Uh, let's just check this out. This County Commissioner Keone McGee, listen, I need your help. I just stepped out of the County Commission meeting here downtown. Jasmine Brown should be the name that's on everyone's tongue at this particular moment. Young Jasmine Brown is missing. She's been missing for quite some time now, a few days as a matter of fact. She lives and she is from Naranja. I need Naranja. for each and every last one of you to do what we know is right in our hearts and help deliver Jasmine Brown back to her mother. She was last seen in Naranja. She, uh, some of the clothing, I'll put it in the description of this Facebook post. Secondly, if you know where uh, if you know about her whereabouts, I need for you to call 911 immediately or call 786-525-1899. I need your help. I am personally begging you to help us return Jasmine Brown to her mother. I'm also going to put up a photo so if anyone can help out with that and share it, it would be greatly appreciative. Again, no mother and no father wants to know that their child is currently missing and they don't know where they are so that was yesterday right the interesting thing about this amber alert that went out is how it's changed the image well first of all it was just the two girls jasmine and markevia but if we look at the missing report it had them as like both kind of endangered that's markevia they had two different locations but now it's kind of like companion and companion i'm not exactly sure what that means it, friends was Jasmine lured out into some sort of situation? There's just so many unknowns. Does Jasmine know these people? Are they all friends and peers? How do they all correlate together? Uh, just a lot of questions. Two other quick tidbits to add before I get out of here. Now, on this updated article, it states the information that we know already, but it also added with what the Amber Alert said that the girls, it says here also the girls may have been kidnapped. This is just, there's a lot of holes and gaps missing. It's a huge deal that it took so long for people to be notified about this. I don't know if, if the police were just notified or, or how this all took place. We're getting an Amber Alert five days later. The other thing too, I saw this post on Facebook that they're having a pickup. They're having a meeting by somewhere in Miami where you can pick up flyers. I don't think I can make it today because I have my daughter. I will be available this weekend. So anybody's doing something this weekend to go hand out flyers or go help look around and stuff, I'm definitely available Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but that's the address right there. I'll put it down in the description below. I'll keep you guys posted. Take care of yourselves and peace.